Well, here's a video of my beautiful 2010 Little Guy Tab. Uh, this little trailer is in absolute, absolute great condition. Uh, just a beautiful little teardrop trailer. If you're not familiar with the Little uh, little Guy uh, travel trailers, uh, go on their site and familiarize yourself with them. Uh, they're very well built. They're very well insulated. Uh, anyhow, let me go through what this little trailer is all about. It is a 2010. It is set up with the Max Air on the roof. Beautiful alloy rims. You are set up with this unit with hydro. You are set up with outside cable. If you have that availability at a campsite, you're set up with your water. It also has an inside water tank. You are set up with surge brakes. You're set up with an adjustable wheel with emergency brakes uh, for when you have it. Uh, Part, uh, and you have it on all your four stabilizer jacks. Uh, the frame on this little unit is not metal, it's complete galvanized. Fiberglass shell on the outside, extremely well built. Don't have to worry about leaks long term because the roof is all fiberglass as well. These actually come up, I'll show you that on the inside. You are set up with a night light. I do have to uh, mention that the standing room in this little travel trailer is 5'9". So quite roomy for the size of this the, uh, little teardrop. You have blinds that come down. Let's just give you a tour on the inside here. You are set up with refrigerator. The cabinetry in this little unit is all hardwood. Not sure if it's ash or maple. It has a beautiful U-shaped dinette. No stains, no smell, non-smoking. It is set up with screens, so if you do want to open up your windows and the uh, from the outside, well from the inside, but leave it out. And at night, if you want your complete privacy. This comes down as a blind, so you can have complete privacy in here at night, and you can be watching a DVD or listening to the radio, or what you'd have. I'm just gonna shut off this little unit here. Let's start over here. Uh, this actually converts into a pretty large bed. It's actually bigger than the queen size bed. Uh, actually closer to a king size bed so quite roomy cabinets all on piston hinges lots of room the back here if I can show this to you it does go down and again this little unit this backboard here lifts up and you've got storage in there also Let's look at the uh, unit system in here. So, this is set up with a cool cat heat pump. It actually works as a uh, air conditioner as well as a heater. So let's just put your, as you can see, plug-ins, CO detector, uh, fuse panel, lots of storage underneath the seat, I have to mention. Uh, lots of room inside the cabinets in here these nice little units you can actually put these out here without putting screws into your hardwood so you can see you've got three of them there so you can put one over here and they're quite nice as you can see here you've got one for your paper towel holder this is uh, still winterized all your manuals 
your refrigerator, which is still on. I'll just shut it off because I'll be moving this little unit. Again, more cabin space up here. As you can see, uh, nice glass top, stainless steel sinks. I'm just gonna shut off the, uh, the furnace here. I could feel the heat on my legs. Uh, what can else can I tell you? I did go over this, yes, absolutely. Uh, see if I can do this with one hand. And there you go. I'll just shut it off. You've got a uh, plug lighter here. This is for your pump, your water pump, if you want to run your water. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? Oh yes, it's got a ceiling fan. Let's not forget. I'm sure I'm going to forget something in this video, but and I can't make it too long because the uh, YouTube is not going to upload it. Well, hopefully I've covered everything. Uh, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous little unit. And uh, I hope I was thorough enough in the short period of time that I've uh, shown you this video. And I do appreciate you for watching.